Hi Pre-K. I uh, hope everyone's having a great day. I was trying to think of something that's kind of fun that we could do with our letter X because there is no X book. Um, there's only a very few words that have the letter X at the beginning. Um, it's a letter that we'll hear more at the end of a word. Like if you say box, fox, you can hear that X at the end, but um, there's not a lot of words that have the X at the beginning to, um, there's X, Ray, and xylophone are two big ones, there are two main ones that you would think of. So, um, so anyway, so there was no X book. And so I was thinking, X, 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 what could we do? And then I came up with it. I thought, well, X marks the spot on a treasure map, doesn't it? If you have a treasure map and there's an X, that's usually the spot where the treasure is. So I thought, well, maybe we can make a treasure map. So I was trying to think of things you would have at home. So hopefully at home, if you have a paper bag from the grocery store, or you could even have a paper bag that's like from the takeout. I saved this from our takeout, um, carry out. So you need a paper bag and you need some crayons or you could use markers. I'm gonna use crayons. And if you have that bag, you'd need a scissors. So be careful with your scissors. Remember, even at home, you have to do the safety scissors rules. So walk with them if you're walking like this and only cut sitting down. All right, so the first thing to make a treasure map, I think, is to get your bag and have your big person help because at the beginning, it's a little hard to cut the bag. Um, so what I did was I took my bag and it looked like this, but it had a bottom here. So I, so you would have your big person just cut that bottom part of the bag off. And then you're going to have a bag that's like this, but look, no bottom. Okay. So when it's like this, maybe your mom or your dad or whoever's home with you can help you. You're just going to cut. Look at these lines. They're right here for you. You can cut along this line or this line. Look at the lines in the folds, the folds where the bag is. Pick any of those lines. It doesn't matter which one. And you're going to cut, cut, cut. Does it have to be perfect? No, we're pre-K. If you get off the road, what are you going to do? Get right back on. And then you're going to have a big, super big piece of paper that's like this. And it's got handles, mine does, so I don't need the handles, so I can cut those off. You could leave the handles on it if you want. I'm just going to cut them off like that. And actually, if you wanted to make a super big treasure map, you could use a big piece of paper like that. I'm going to actually cut this then into a smaller piece, and then I'm going to end up with a piece of paper from my bag that's about this size because that's the size treasure map I'm going to make at least for my first one if I make more than one then maybe I would make a bigger one next okay so once you have your paper like this this is the part where you have to be strong okay your arms and your fingers so we're going to crumble it up because I don't think anyone that ever finds a treasure map finds a new treasure map they I think of treasure maps as being old and maybe having wrinkles on them. So this is the best way we can make our paper look kind of old. So we're gonna get it as small as you can. And then we're gonna smash it. And then you can open it back up. Here, your Ernie back there. Um, so I've got my paper like this. I think I want it even a little more wrinkly. So, um, smash it again, and then open it back up. All right, now I think I'm ready to make my treasure map. All right, now if you notice, on this side, it has the printing from Harris Teeter. So I'm not gonna write on that side. But look at this side. You've got a great piece of paper ready for a treasure map. 
So the main thing when you're making your treasure map is you have to make the X to mark the spot where you're going to make your treasure. So I'm going to use a black, if I can find one. I know there's one in here. Actually, no, it looks like this was used, these crayons were used for some project. I didn't open them, and there's like a whole lot of green crayons in here. So guess what? Look, <laughs> I'm, you know what? I wonder if we had these for our project when we used the green crayons and then we dripped and I used the hair dryer and then we put our fingerprints on it. Maybe it's from that. But anyway, so I'm not gonna use a black, but you can. And I'm gonna make an X. I'm gonna make an X like where my treasure is. So you guys can do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some things on my map. I'm gonna pause this and then I'm gonna stop and I'll show you what I drew. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, I've got a treasure hunt, a treasure map. So I'm gonna show you mine, and then I'm gonna let you make yours, so make yours. And then actually, in a few minutes, I'm gonna make another video, because I'm gonna follow this treasure map and see if I can find some treasure. Let's look for, let's look for it, let's look at it and see what clues I put on it. All right, so I wrote the words start here, and then I started the path, and it looks like I've got to start, I've got to find a door, I have to go down some steps, looks like I have to go around something, and these are supposed to be bushes. So, oh, I have to go outside. And then I've got to go around, and around, and around, and then I've got to find more steps, oh, and another door. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna go down from there, I have to look for a pink fish? I don't know, that's what my map says. And then from there I have to go over something big and brown? Okay, oh, looks like there's water here. I might have to go over an ocean too, I don't know. And then it looks like I have to look, oh, there's the X. I have to look underneath something maybe brown and find and see if X marks the spot for a treasure. I'm gonna go on a treasure hunt. I'm gonna let you guys make your maps and then I'll see if there's any treasure at the end of my map. All right.